September is Peripheral Arterial Disease Month, also known as PAD. And I'm with Dr. Owen McGabgab to talk about the peripheral disease. And doctor, this is really important because when people think of cardiovascular, they think of just their heart, but it's right. more their body. Oh, it's the entire cardiovascular system. Uh, so peripheral artery disease is the buildup of cholesterol in the arteries that supply the legs with blood. And it's very similar to what happens uh, when you get blockages in the heart arteries or blockages in the neck arteries that lead to heart attack and stroke. Um, but the reason why we need to raise PAD awareness is because people often don't think about their lower extremity circulation in the same way that they do as having a heart attack or stroke. But in reality, it's a very significant illness. You know, being a chef, I'm on my feet a lot. Mm -hmm. So I know how I need to take care of my legs. Right. But what are some of the symptoms? What should folks look for? I mean, I, I used to get swelling and fatigue. That's how I knew. But what's some of the symptoms that you know, will show up. So uh, leg fatigue is certainly one of them. The classic symptom is to get leg cramps when you walk, but most people actually don't get that classic symptom. They may just get fatigue. Sometimes they'll get hair loss on their lower extremities. Sometimes they'll get a maybe an ulcer or tissue breakdown in the toe that doesn't heal. And sometimes it's completely asymptomatic, uh, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't need it to be treated aggressively. So Glenn, Tell me how coming to the Cardiovascular Institute of the South has changed your life and made it better. Well, several years ago, we were in Maui, and I started getting pain in my leg. And so when we got back, we started getting together, and we did some bypass on one leg. And since that point, he's done seven different angioplasties on me and basically saved my legs and saved my life. And the staff here is incredible, by the way. Okay. Oh. So basically, it's enabled you to have a much better quality of life. Absolutely. I'm active. I happen to be 75, but we don't need to be. Age is not something we have to worry about. And I swim every day. And I don't think anybody would have guessed you're 75. Well, thank you. What is it like to have that relationship with Dr. Owen? Well, Dr. Owen is special. He cares about the patients, and obviously the staff does too. It's, it's different than any doc. I have five different doctors because I have diabetes as well and other things. And he is, he, I've never had known a doctor that cares as much as he does, as well as, and he's so respected in the community. He'll keep you going, that's keep it. your legs going. And, 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 and that's something that, we have to take care of ourselves. And it seems like this has been very comfortable for you to get a better quality of life, to have that great relationship with the doctor and the staff. Oh, it's fantastic. And it, and it must make you feel comfortable. It does, and I was a smoker when we met. And I am not a smoker now, because he was patient enough with me to get me to quit. So, I mean, he's an incredible man. Wow, and that's something that he says really affects things, is that people Absolutely. don't realize the smoking. Everybody thinks it's the, the appetite, but it's the smoking that affects things. That's the worst, the worst of the three bad things that you can do. Of course, age is the third thing, and we can't do anything about that. No, we can't, we can't. <laughs> so, if they come into the cardiovascular center, mm -hmm. they shouldn't be afraid, that's one thing, because no, we have to take care of our bodies. Not at all. So what can they expect to try to check to see if they have this? Yeah, so actually checking for blockages in the legs is even easier than it is in the heart and in the neck. Uh, all we do, we have uh, Doppler probes to listen to pulses, and then we just check blood pressures in the legs, and it tells us so much about someone's overall cardiovascular health uh, by knowing what's going on in their leg circulation. Now, you mentioned about the, the, the cholesterol and mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that. A lot of it is diet, but there's something else that leads to it. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, high blood pressure and high cholesterol certainly don't help, but there's three major risk factors for PAD, um, smoking, diabetes, and advanced age. And it's particularly important here in Louisiana because we consistently rank in the top three states nationally in smoking rates. Uh, we're consistently in the top five in diabetes rates and our population is getting older. Um, so I think awareness of PAD is more important than it ever is uh, because treating it aggressively is important. So if you have any inkling that you have something going on, you have to come to the Cardiovascular Institute of the South and meet Dr. Owen McGabgab and take care of yourself because we have to take care of our health.